so shall we start uh, so actually i we did not take too much time so i think we inform early morning and then we are doing this streaming today evening so the purpose of this uh, stream is that we had completed our blog and now it's time to present in front of you so as you know that we are we have our uh, graphs engineering channel where we are uploading videos related to mechanical engineering such as like fea that is finite element analysis few you will find that manufacturing videos in addition to that you will also find that few cad videos now it's time to uh, include some of the theoretical information because most of us don't know that what is the theoretical background behind that so for that we started uh, writing the blogs and uh, initially we written few blogs so once we will get your feedback based on that we will going to present our or we will going to write our upcoming blogs so now if you see that our screen you will going to see when you click on the top you will find that our address that is www.graphsengineering.com so basically when you put this address on your web you will find that our respective website so the very first i will going to demonstrate the user interface and then we'll discuss the what are the different topics we have included inside this blog so let's start with this header so if you go on the top of this you will find that the header which will going to present the different categories so now here you can see our logo and uh, here you will find that the same categories where we included all the topics like if you inside the fe article you will find the post related to fe basics then fe advance then you will find the fa design suggestions and then you will also find the post related to structural analysis so what we did here we did additionally incorporate some of the design blocks like here you will going to find that some of the 2d as well as 3d exercise blocks so here from this you will going to refer and then you can create the 3d model now we also started the geometric dimensioning and tolerances and then you will find this is the very important like the most of the viewers had asked me to upload the geometry so basically if you go here you will find that we have uploaded the fea cad geometry so that you can download that and you can use the for your fea simulation similarly you will find that our video link like here if you click inside that you will find it will move to your graph injury channel so from there you can segregated that what are the fa tutorials and cat tutorials in future we will going to further increase this video tutorial link and then you will find that we have also incorporated few of the quiz sections from that you can easily uh, see once you will click on the fa quizzes you will find that the here that you need to test your fa knowledge so if you click on that now you will find that there are different quiz questions which are related to fea so you just go through that like the first question is what is first natural frequency of the table so based on your knowledge you just need to click like suppose if you are giving this then it will show which one is the correct answer like this is 17.985 okay and then you just need to move to next so what are the materials details which are required for to perform the transient thermal analysis so like that you will find the quiz section for the fea in addition to that you will also find the quiz section for the cats so basically here we presented cad quizzes in two ways the first way like you will find the pictorial view if you click inside that you will find the image and here uh, you will find the questions related to the quiz question like here what is the dimension of length x in about 2s to 1 ellipsoid head so refer below assumptions and condition so based on this assumption and condition you need to identify the dimension of x 
So similarly, if you go further to CAD quiz, you will find uh, also the object to type CAD quizzes like if you click over here, like which command will generate the solid object like revolve as we know that similarly you will find the other questions over here. Okay, so you just need to go through that and uh, at the last you will find that there are we also included the FA tips. So basically here we will going to represent uh, your pen here. Basically we started with the ANSYS tips. Once you click on the ANSYS tips, as you know that most of us came across the various error solutions. So right now this is what the first error like you can see that the internal solution magnitude limit was exceeded. So basically based on this uh, we have presented our solutions like what will be the possible cause and the solution with the example. So you just need to go through that so that you are uh, you will going to know that why this error is coming and how to resolve this respective error. So in future you will find there are various posts. So we will ask you to uh, put your feedback based on that we will going to add the error as well as this respective solution to that errors. And at the last you will find that uh, the contact information like over here and then uh, you will find the privacy policy terms and conditions. Okay. This is all about our main header. So basically uh, and here at the start you will find that this is nothing but the slider bar where you will find the various posts okay and here you will find the latest post. So basically what are the latest posts you will going to uh, collect from this respective area. So now you can see like uh, what is stress relation which is one of the advanced ones what is compensating pressure. Okay, how to apply that? What is third pressure? So all these posts you will go into over here. Why do we carry out the machines like different types of FEA elements? What is the finite element analysis? Why do we FEA? So like that you will find there as various posts over here. Okay, you just need to go one by one. And on the right hand side you will find furthermore the popular post like uh, the basics of GD and D, GD and T. Then what is stress relation? What is finite element analysis? Okay, and why do we FEA? And this is the very important part of our blog post. So basically, here you need to subscribe to get the update or notification from our blog. So whenever we will going to write a new blog, you will get the notification for the same. Okay. Similarly, this is nothing but our social distancing, or you can sorry social platforms. So basically, you can refer from here, and these are the categories so you can easily click on that and you can go through the all the categories like when we click on the FA basics so you will find the post related to FA basics like what is non-linear analysis what are the types of non-linear so basically you will find the what is non-linear analysis and what are the types of non-linear analysis so similarly there are uh, few posts which belongs to FA advanced like advanced topics so most of us uh, are doing simulation for a pressure vessels. So in that case we know that we need to do a stress reaction. So you will find the complete theoretical background like what is stress reaction, what is stress classification line. Okay. Then uh, you will find what is membrane bending, membrane plus bending pre stresses. Similarly you will also find like uh, how to do a stress gradation as per ASME. So we have included the ASME chart over here based on our understanding and also you just have a look on uh, the different definition which are mentioned in this graph and also we included the example of stress relation so you just need to go through that once you will go through this you will have a clear idea of what is stress relation and why we are doing the stress linearization okay so this is all about our uh, if you advanced topics so similarly I will just click on for the more and here also you will find that uh, what is compensating pressure what is compensating force so this is the pain area always we used to ask like uh, why we are applying thrust pressure what is compensating force what is compensating pressure the exact difference and how to calculate that. So you will get all this from this respective blog post. So you just need to see how we are calculating what is the theoretical background and in addition to that 
uh, we also explain that through a one simple example okay so you just need to have a look on this and if you have any comments related to that you just need to put over here we will get back to you as soon as we will receive your comment so what are the comments or challenges you are facing you just need to put over here and we will reply for your questions okay now here if you click on this ebay if you design suggestion so as you know that so while doing simulations we need to present few of the design recommendations or design tips so we just highlighted like static loads uh, like how we suggest how you need to put reinforcing pad kind of thing then for thermal loads you need to incorporate a sliding support similarly for a dynamic load you just need to add stiffness so like that you will find the various posts related to fa design suggestions over here okay and then at the last this is nothing but your structural analysis so you will find all the posts related to the structural analysis over here so in addition to that we now started to incorporate what is geometric dimensioning and tolerances so basically as we know that this term is used in design so you will just you will have a complete background of what is gdnt what are the different symbols and uh, you will also find what are the features related is related to gdnt like datum datum feature how to define on a surface axis point or whole axis okay so all this you will going to find over this blog post right so i will request you to go through this and uh, you can present your feedbacks in terms of comments and what are the pain areas of yours while doing simulation you just need to comment we will create a post or we will uh, give the solution like we started a uh, fa ansi steep category so here what are the errors you are facing uh, we will provide a solution in terms of theoretical blog post so that you will have a complete overview or background of fa okay so if you have any questions uh, you you can present or you can comment in the comment sections so regarding quiz this is very a uh, challenging or you can say uh, i will request i will request you to go through this you just need to click over here and let's see if you are able to solve all the quizzes like what is first night there are like 10 quiz are we have included in the inside this 10 problems so uh, just go through this each and every quiz and then uh, you will get the feedback once you will resolve this okay so likewise we will going to add in a future so this is what whatever we created a block in last few months we right now presented or we included inside this now based on your feedback we will further include our future blog post okay so what are the comments uh, uh, if you are facing any issues or uh, if you want to discuss anything you can comment in the comment sections so if you don't have any comment then uh, we will close this session so before that uh, uh, you can just go through this fa cad geometry section so you will find that the cad geometry is so as you know that we have a uh, channel called grass engineering you can refer from this and for that we 
included more than 80 plus videos. So now we started uploading the CAD models for that respective FEA session. So you will have a CAD model and you will have a video for the respective analysis. So you can easily simulate that with the help of our CAD model. So you just need to go through that and you can download from here. Let me know if you are facing any difficulties like so like you uh, you will have a CAD model for centrifugal pump and base model so you just need to click over here once you will click on the download file you will find that the respective archive file okay so if you don't have any comment then uh, we will close this session and we will meet you very soon. So thank you guys for uh, attending this session. So let me know your comments. I will be there to help you.